and welcome everyone to another edition of Garvin Plays Minecraft here on the ftwcraft.org server. Today we finally get back to our to-do list. Uh, last last time we were together, we were we were complaining. <laughs> we were we were complaining about um, how how we've basically taken everything off of the off of the to-do list, and nothing else was really motivating me so uh, last night I added a few more things so we're gonna take a look at it we're gonna try to accomplish as much as we can today and uh, go from there so here's what's on the list we're gonna move the sheep alright so we're gonna move the sheep and then underneath that was carrot slash sugar so what we're gonna do is I set up a track and we'll, we'll take a look at what where that track goes and we got it we gotta figure out the best way in the best location to, to move these sheep. I think it's a rail. We're going to take a rail down in here and pick up each one by cart one by one. And then this whole front area we're going to turn into a uh, a, a sugar farm. So basically a paper farm is what we're, what we're trying to get. So um, this little area we're going to turn into carrots. Uh, because now that we have pigs we're going to have to uh, mate them with carrots. So we need carrots at all times. And then, yeah, this whole front area we're gonna we're gonna turn into a sugar cane farm. So, that's what we want. Let's see what else was on the list. That was one and two. Uh, buffalo head. So, in the saloon, if you remember a couple episodes back, we were putting together uh, a buffalo head in the wall using a uh, a cow in a cart. But we failed. We failed to really do it properly, so it's it's just kind of been left there. So we have to finish that. And then the final item on the list, and I doubt we're going to get to today, but we're going to make an NPC shop. So basically, uh, this area over here, um, I want to turn into a actual market, a market run by these NPC villagers. So uh, the basic gist is. I like a majority of these these villagers. the The problem is, though, that um, it, it's impossible to trade with all of them because they all they all jam themselves into this room. So, what I'd like to do is I'd like to move a few of them uh, into individual buildings. So we'll, we'll we'll keep that track up that's up there, and we'll run a track and we'll collect some of these guys into uh, into a, a mine cart and then pull them over into these buildings over here so I've got three right, right now and I'm gonna close actually the doors are fine but I think I'll put like a little um, um, hmm, like a counter make this into a, a little shop here so we'll, we'll, so we'll have a counter we'll have the uh, the the NPC villager stand behind the counter and sell its goods. So, uh, we'll, like, we'll put a sign up or a uh, maybe a, an item frame or maybe a set of item frames with what they sell, so that when you come in here, um, you know what each villager is selling, or at least like their their good items. And then what we could do is we can put one in here, one in here, one in here, or maybe two in there. Um, and then we've got these other two buildings that that we can we can change over. We've also got a building here and here and here, and they they right now avoid these all of, all of those buildings. They are only sticking with these three buildings right here. So I figure we can keep uh, we can keep this building and this building as like a uh, mating zone basically, and the rest of the the buildings can can turn into uh, you know an actual shop. So that, that's what we're gonna try to do. Oh, he. Uh, came in over here interesting uh, so that's what we're gonna try to do I doubt we're gonna get to it today just because of everything else we have to accomplish but we'll see we might save that for the next episode so let's go ahead and take a look at the farm and we'll take a look at what we've got uh, set up already and we've got to lay down a few more track uh, I, I wanted to keep the the gates closed oh also I don't know if you noticed but I took the uh, I took the road all the way out to the... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, out to the... Uh, skeleton spawner. 
just because I saw Judas was walking out here and I wasn't sure what he was doing. All he was doing was he uh, he was going to the skeleton spawner. So, made a road. Should be not a lot nicer now. So anyways, this is where I, I ended up putting the track. And I'm not sure where I want to put these guys yet. Uh, I, think, I, I think what makes sense is to put them inside this area. But uh, my fear is it's getting kind of cramped already. So I, I suppose I could have less cows. Um, I could uh, maybe fence this part off just so this this part only is... Uh, man, I'm, we're getting ocelots everywhere. Uh, this part only is sheep. I don't know if I necessarily want to breed them or uh, do a whole lot. So maybe what we'll do for today's purposes, uh, since I only have about... Four, uh, I'll just put them into these these little areas, and I'll keep them here um, for for the time being. But I think that's what we're gonna do. Is there anything I can drop off here? Leather, um, seed. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think I think that's what that's how we're gonna handle this. Um, so we'll we'll bring these sheep in. We'll put them into uh, these stalls, and then eventually we will move them to where they need to go. But should be a fun should be a fun uh, experience. Um, you know, tr trying to pull them with the lead uh, has has always been awful. So I think this will be this will be be a bit better. And actually, we can we can go ahead and start. Uh, Start finishing up these tracks. I, you know, at first we, we had these gates up because the NPC villagers were were getting out, um, but I really haven't experienced that in the last couple of uh, days. It seems like they're all staying in that one, that last building. Like they're they're doing some walking around, but it's not as bad as it was when I first brought them into this area. When I first brought them in, they were they were going pretty much everywhere. Okay, so uh, I think I'm just going to use sand to get down. Oh, cool. I already have uh, some dirt set up. So we'll bring this over here. And then when we're ready, we'll just take this fence down. Uh, actually, I can, I can put a gate up for now. All right. So one, two, three... Four, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll try to get the sheep to stand on top of the rail, and uh, yeah, it should be should be fun. Um, you know, it was pretty simple with the NPC villagers. I don't see why it would be a problem now with the sheep. It's just a matter of getting the sheep uh, to stand where we want them to. So, um, all right, let me unload my inventory. And then when we come back, I'll uh, I'll go upstairs and grab some mine carts, and uh, we'll start we'll start moving. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back. It is daytime. And apologies for before if you guys weren't hearing my game audio. Uh, I don't know what happened. So let's go ahead and bring one of these down. All right. And I think. We should do this one at a time, and just to see see what happens. I think I think that makes the most sense. Should be able to ender pearl right down. Because we're gonna have to push this guy up uh, a little bit. Um, I'm not setting up redstone at all. All right. We'll take this guy first. Oh. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this down. Hopefully no one... I'm hearing skeletons, man. Alright. We'll come back. So let's go ahead and take this guy all the way, all the way through. And I'm getting shot at. 
Ah, oh, there he is. So yeah, this is fun. Little fun, little uh, ride for for these guys. <laughs> and we'll just take them right right into the barn. I think I. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, we might have a slight issue. Uh, that's okay. Alright. We'll take him over here. And actually we wanted to we wanted to put him in this in this pen. Let's set that up. Okay. Bring him back. And he shouldn't go too far. Oh shoot! No. How did you get up that hill? All right, there you go. All right. So we'll push him off, off to the side, perhaps. All right, cool. Then we'll bring the next one over there. Yeah, and and again, I I think I'm I'm going to keep them in in the carts until we move all of them. Uh, dinner bone should be the funniest to move for sure and really I should have brought all the carts down I don't know why I didn't think about that so let's let's go back up and uh, it's, it'll be easier if I go this way we'll go back up and get the rest of the carts and then bring these guys down okay <laughs> so we got we got all of the sheep into carts except for dinner bone and I wanted to I wanted to hold off until uh, until I could bring you guys back in, <laughs> it should be uh, it should be hilarious. All right, let's try it out. Dinner bone, stay there. Don't you move? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, so dinner bone is in a cart. Let's go ahead and uh, start start bringing these guys up. Uh, we'll we'll put them all into the. Into the uh, into the fenced off area, and then we will uh, do what we can as far as breaking the carts and keeping them uh, in there. So uh, stay tuned. I I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the to the delivery uh, stage. So stay tuned. All right. So we've got them all going now, and I actually put them all on the track at the same time. Oh, oh, we need like a little uh, furnace cart here to push them all in. And we just had another server uh, meltdown a bit. Uh, all, all because of me, I think, because I, I've got three, three mine carts going at the same time. Uh, Beast Node has been pretty awful uh, for us as of late. But there, there aren't many cheap hosts out there that uh, seem to be reliable. Alright. Take it. No, no. Stay over there. Crap. All right. Well, we'll get him. Uh, actually, go back in. All right. All right. That's all good. Cool. So let me take a quick screenshot of this because uh, I think we need to. <laughs> Dinner bone, look this way again. This will be the uh, this will be the episode cover. <laughs> All right, sweet. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's break these carts. These guys will fall into the floor because that's what happens for whatever reason.
Alright. And I'll go about my business, and uh, yeah, when we come back, they'll probably be fine. Uh, that's usually how, how it goes for whatever reason. I'm not sure what, what, the, what the issue is. Uh, it's definitely just a, a Minecraft glitch. But we'll, we'll take these rails down a little bit later on. So, alright, so we move those guys. Let's head back to the front and start, uh, start our planting. All right, so we're we're back at the house, and what I didn't think about was uh, was these guys. We've got two sheep, and they're they're just chilling on the side of the house. So eventually, we're not going to do this today, but eventually we are going to have to take them back uh, to to the to the farm. But we we can hold that off for a little bit longer. Let me go ahead and take these tracks down. So uh, for the most part. All I'm thinking about doing is I am going to uh, basically fill this entire area with sand and uh, just little streams of water in between. So we're going to need a, a never-ending pool of water, and I think I'm going to I think I'm going to level it off so it's well. No, actually, maybe I won't do that. Uh, let's let's see how how the other the other garden is set up so it's it's about one down so we'll get yeah so we just need one one uh one layer of sand in and then we'll also take down these walls and maybe put up a few jack-o-lanterns do it yeah i've got those in my inventory cool all right do to do, do. So yeah, that that went uh, that went very well. Uh, overall, I thought. I still don't know where where to put those guys though. Uh, hmm. I think what we might do here is we might we might take down a level, but we've got we've got this redstone still put inside here. Yeah, I think I think I think we could take this down. Let me uh, let me let me do some of this off camera. We're gonna clean up this area a little bit, and then we'll start laying down sand. So stay tuned. So, real quick, I uh, just wanted to pop back. On. I, I feel I need to kind of explain my my last comment here. <laughs> Said there was a bunch of redstone uh, all around, and uh, the reason why at, at first when I first set up this place, uh, I had pistons that that drove up uh, these these blocks. So that there, there was like little tiny, uh, one one hole, or like one block holes that I was able to shoot out of, or I could take the pistons down, and it would, um, it would give me a, a much larger uh, hole to to be able to shoot out of. Because just you know, at, at that time we we didn't really light up this area. It was before we had the bridge here, um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, overall, um, oh, and it looks like I just wrecked some water, so we're, we're going to have to fix that too. Uh, I just wanted to get the pistons out, out of there, but overall, that's what was going on, uh, but we're going to, we're just going to go ahead and fill it in now, uh, just because there's no, there's no need for it anymore, so, all right, back at it, see you guys in a few. All right, so here's the new setup, uh, we've got... Just rows of sand, basically. So we're gonna put water in between. Um, also in between, I I, I threw some uh, jack o' lanterns down just to just to make sure that this area is lit up pretty well. But it's gonna be the same premise that we're doing here, just uh, in large form. So what we need to do now is we need to start getting some water together. So I think I'm just gonna make my never-ending pool right here, and then we'll fill this up later on. all right cool and I really need to unload uh, some of this inventory so let's let's go ahead and just get started um, this is gonna take a little a little while actually I don't know if there's a if there's a good way to do this I, I've never been great at uh, well, Minecraft really, but uh, I've never been good at placing water 
um, in a in a good in a good fashion. So I'm guessing there's a better way to do this, and I'm I'm failing at it. So, anyways, we're gonna go get some more buckets, and uh, and 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 finish this up. So I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so I cleaned up my uh, my inventory. I think we'll still need some jack o' lanterns. I left those there. Made made a bunch of new uh, buckets, and oh, ruined it. All right, let's try this again. It's doing it way too quickly. So, um, I suppose I should explain why I'm making a paper mill. Uh, basically what, what it comes down to is just looking at some of the trades that are coming in for the NPC villagers. I think it would make sense to start making things that um, would work better with the with the villagers and what seems to be working a lot is paper. Um, I've, I've got two Two librarian style. Um, oh, I guess I did have more buckets. Two two librarian style uh, villagers. I mean, we're still on the old villager system, so they're not they're not full fledged librarians. But um, I've got I've got two with paper trades, basically, is what is what I'm saying. So um, so we're gonna make a bunch of paper, and you know, books is something that we've we've been using a lot more often in the uh, you know, in the server overall. So, um, I think it would make sense to ha have more books. Um, also, you know, once, once we start enchanting more and, you know, I've, I've wanted to enchant books, but, uh, it is just too, too expensive right now. I want to wait until the 1.8 update is done so that, you know, it's just three lapis. I've got so much lapis saved up for this. So, um, so yeah, that's what, that's what, I want to do. I want to be able to add more books to the to the diamond shop, and also add, um, you know, be able to Im improve upon uh, enchants that that I that I get overall. Right, that looks good. Looks good. So we've got a few more, and actually, we could probably start planting some of this just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. Oops. Dang it. My aim is not the best. Alright. So yeah, I think this is gonna look pretty sweet, and we could probably take the rest uh the rest of these guys down. We won't be needing their services anymore. So yeah, books are becoming uh, a hot commodity here. So I'd like to use them more. Um, we book and quills obviously are, are big things that that we use uh, on a day to day basis. So yeah, overall uh, I think I think having a paper farm makes a makes a whole lot of sense. So and I know I know Atomic Deke sells paper, and I would love to uh, be able to contribute to his economy. But I'd also like a supply for myself, and we've got all this room. We might as well, might as well take advantage of it. All right. Oh, shoot. All right. So let me finish this up, and then uh, we'll get we'll get moving. So stay tuned. I think we actually ran out of paper, or I'm sorry, uh, sugar. Didn't I set up? A... Oh yeah, right here, books. All right, so I don't think we'll have enough. I don't think we'll have enough to plant a full crop today. Oh, I need I need dirt again, but we can at least get everything else set up. Not sure how much dirt we're gonna need. So. But yeah, overall, uh, this is this is looking pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, with how this looks right now. And actually, let's take let's 
take one of these down and put in a jack-o'-lantern. And then maybe we'll do the same thing for this guy right here. Just want to make sure this is lit up well. Yeah, that looks nicer. All right. So uh, overall, though, uh, I am I'm still putting off setting up the new house. I think I think at this time it's just just daunting uh, to start over. <laughs> you know, when when I've got everything I need already right here. But uh, I think I think overall we will we will get started. Although it is March. So okay, so here's here's the other thing I, I'm I'm dealing with. It's March. Um, the server will be a year old in uh, May, May I think. So uh, I think we started bringing people on uh, around June. So that's when uh, Atomic Deek set up. Um, I'm not sure who else joined at that time, but I know Atomic Deek was here for sure. And we that we had talked about maybe starting a new oh that's all i got okay so we'll wait to see uh what what grows and hopefully something else will, will come up and we'll be able to plant the rest so uh yeah uh, i think i think atomic deke was the only one to to join right at that point but we had discussed the idea of possibly um possibly starting over with 1.8, so that that way we had we could start fresh with all of the new stuff that uh, that we were going to get. So that that was still talked about. I'm not sure how um, how ready anyone is to make that sort of decision. But you know, at some point we do need to we do need to start over, kind of thing. So. Um, I don't know. So I guess I'm kind of waiting for that. You know, I don't want to put a lot of time into something that we might uh, that we might walk away from. You know, in a matter of months. So instead, uh, you know, improving what we're what we're working with right now might might make a little bit more sense. You know, so that's what I'm thinking. That's what's going through my mind right now. Um, I don't know what I'll end up doing. I've got the beacon already set up there. I, I'm ready to go for the most part. Uh, I just need to go and do it. All right. Well, while we're waiting, uh, it's going to take a little time. Actually, you know what? I could, I could speed this up. Let's just speed this up and, and finish this episode out here in the in the new sugar mine or sugar farm. Oh, can I not? I can't use these. Oh, that sucks, man. All right. Well, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out to the NPC village, and we're gonna see what we can do uh, out here. If there's if there's a guy we want to move today, and I left all my cards, so we'll, we'll go back into the house. We'll get those cards. <laughs> And Nick takes off pants. All right. So I really think it would be cool to be able to set up this NPC village. Uh, this this. Let's yeah. Let's just move one today. Uh, this. This little marketplace. I think I think having having the marketplace would be would be nice. Um, it'd make it a little bit easier to find the type of NPC villager you're looking for. Oh, we got squid in here now. Interesting. And actually, I, I want to get. Well, do I have my pick on me? Yeah. Let's just go grab some of this track. So yeah, I think I think it'd be nice to make it a little bit more usable by. Um, you know, isolating each villager by itself. That way it's not running away while you're trying to trade with it. Um, also, 
Um, it would make things a little bit easier uh, as far as knowing wit, wit, which villager does what uh, and always know where that villager is going to be. So, so that's the that's the that's the point of this. But you know, we'll see what ends up happening. We gotta tear down this door, though. Uh, let's figure out what we're gonna do first. I think. Um, I think we want. I need our axe. We're going to want uh, a villager in here. So let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's build. Let's let's figure out what our structure is going to be. So I don't think we need two doors on this guy. So we could take that down. So we'll we'll need uh, we'll need to bring some clay out here to to wrap that up. And actually, maybe maybe I got clay in here. I think that's purple. Or is that light gray? Kind of looks light gray. All right, that's <laughs> that's light gray. It looks purple to me, but I guess that's light gray. Uh, oh, I did pick up all. Okay, so we'll go go ahead and we'll put this wall in. All right. So I'm thinking then. Uh, maybe we put, uh, do we have any wood slabs back here? We do. Let's use oak. So I figure we can put, put these here and then we can build, we can build the cart like that. All right, and then we'll we'll cover that up with uh, with another thing, and this could be whatever. So this is going to be our shop. It's going to have a sign, maybe some item frames of what's sold here, some item frames on the wall to to give it a little bit more of decor. Um, yeah. All right. So let's let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to build these guys. So I've got. We'll just use clay. Dang. Um, all right. Let's see. I really wish I had I had dirt on me. Do was there any dirt in this chest? Sweet. All right. I'd rather use uh, I'd rather use dirt. Okay. And then this this needs to go. And then these need to go. Oh, actually no. I can just lay 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 track straight across. Sweet. Alright. But that needs to go. Um hmm. You know what? Instead I got the sand here. Okay, let's bring sand all the way across, and we can we can take this one down. All right. So yeah, what we'll do today, we'll finish off the episode setting this up, and then probably next episode I'll have most of this done. Oh, I ran out of track. All right, that's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna handle it. Uh, let's just verify there's no track in there. Just not. Let's go ahead and take a look at our sugar farm to see if uh, if any more grew. All right, it looks like some grew. And I didn't pick it up. Here we go. So not, not a whole lot. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to end it here, I think. And uh, yeah, I think, I think this is going to work out though. I think this is going to work out in our favor. 
and we'll have a nice nice paper mill uh, started it should be cool and then we'll have the NPC villagers in their own place we'll probably do a lot of that on camera actually so I don't know we'll see you next time thanks for watching